Well, with us, Shanta Sinha, the anti-child labor activist and Ramon Maksai Sayawadi. Thanks very much, ma'am, uh, for being with us. Children are more vulnerable than ever because of the lockdown during this pandemic. What would, can we do to protect them more now? Uh, uh, let me start with what we, I think can be done at the local level. I've just been listening to the uh, AIF's uh, uh, initiative, and I think there are many, many NGOs who are working on the ground uh, to face this challenge. One thing that they have all done is to work with the Gram Panchayat, is to work with the child protection committees, with the systems that are already there, but which just do not know what to do with children. So there is a need to involve them. And what they have to do is take a roll call of all children in their area. This is what we are doing. I'm telling you this based on the experience that we've had uh, in during this pandemic a list of all the children between the ages of 0 to 18. And if you talk about child labor and children who have been trafficked to have a, their names with the, uh, with the Gram Panchayat and doing a plan for each and every child in that area. This is working. And I must tell you that children who have returned, they have all been counted for. Some have come with blisters. Some have come with uh, health issues, some have come hungry, some have missed out on school and are very anxious and uncertain about what can be done. And the local is finding solutions for them. So I think you trust the local, trust their capacities and park a lot of funds in their hands to plan for every child and to administer it. I think it's so, so important to trust the local. And I'm sure they have the energy, the competence, and also the will to rescue their children and to see that they are on the path of education.